to Siobhan Fahey of Shakespeare's sister later in the programme. But first, let's take a look at Goodbye Cruel World. Look out just when you think she's looking to see him. She's walking out with the biggest man that you've ever seen. By Cruel World by Shakespeare's sister Siobhan Fahey will be with us at about 8.20 this morning. Weather after this break. This year we spent an amazing eight weeks at number one with Stay. The new single Goodbye Cruel World has just been re-released the third one from the same album. Will it be another number one for Shakespeare's sister? Well, one half of Jew is with us this morning. Good morning to Siobhan Fahey. It's good to see you. You've come all the way from the south of France, you understand? Yeah, it's just for you. Great stuff, <laughs> great stuff. Do you go back there a lot? I mean, do you, I know you've been, like you were saying, you were a sporting prince last week in, mm. in Glasgow, but mm. do you sort of commute backwards and forwards? I'm afraid I do at the moment. I mean, theoretically, we're, we're supposed to live there, but um, we don't because <laughs> We work sure, all well, the time. There's so much going on at the moment yeah. as well, you know, with the single yeah. and, and all the different things like that. Do, do you like? Do you see Dave Stewart a lot? Your husband. I mean, do, I, I was just wondering about the two of you because you're both so busy. Right. You've got two kids. Yeah. What one's four and one's two? One and a half. One yeah. and a half. Yeah. Do you actually manage to spend a lot of time together? It's really as a difficult family? this year, particularly since I've been touring. It's been really hard. I mean, um, we bumped into each other in the airport last night <laughs> for 40 minutes and said, "No, the he was arriving and I was leaving." So, <laughs> right. you know. But it's, it seems to work for you. I mean, does that kind of relationship work for you? Um, I suppose well, when you're together, it's, it's quite intense. It, it, it is. Um, it's pressurised. I mean, mm. it's not easy. But, I mean, I don't think any marriage is, and you have to work at it. I mean, um, I, th I think there is just as so much pressure on marriages where you never see anybody else but each other and mm. drive each other mad. So yeah, everyone's got to make their own rules. Sure. Shakespeare's sister, the whole sort of image is really good. I mean, I love the, the look that you've got in, in the video. Is it, is it a kind of, um, is that sort of era, the sort of 20s, I suppose? Is that, is that something that you've always liked? Um, well, I think we're just, both of us, very um, attracted by very glamour, but glamorous women, but powerful glamorous mm. women. Not submissive glamour, not sort of girly glamour, but um, women who are um, strong and intelligent. Um, and quite demonic, actually, as Gloria Swanson in Sunset Boulevard was. That's right. You and do a, a wonderful impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> I did turn into her for a moment when we were shooting the video. 
when you when you see you and talk to you now and look at the kind of music you're you're, you're producing, it is quite difficult to, to associate you with the old sort of poppy mm. bananarama stuff. But do you think that you sort of had to go through that in a way mm. that if you hadn't gone through that, maybe you wouldn't be where you are now musically? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, I mean, I think everybody when they look back on their past, it's like looking back at someone else in a way. Mm. If you think back to yourself at college or at school, it's like a different person, and yet the, the core of the person remains the same. And I mean, it was I had a fantastic time for the first several years in that group and um, learnt a lot about writing and the studio and just the, the way the business works and it's made me um, understand the business better and be able to sort of mm. uh, do what I want within it. Well, sure, that, that must have been very good because there, there was always a sense that Banana Rama, like a lot of bands, were maybe a little bit manipulated, but now you've got that experience from the inside. Yeah. Do you feel now more that you, you're more in control of what well, you're I can Well, see, I can see the pitfalls coming, and I can't avoid all of them, but, I mean, you know, at least um, I, when you see what's coming in advance, you know, oh, I don't want to do that. Yeah. Uh, Are you much happier now, would you say? Would you say that this is you at your most contented. I mean, you're married, you've got your two children, mm. the career's going really well, and you seem to be very, very comfortable mm. with, the, with the sort of, I hate the image, but with the kind of look that you've got right. now. Right, well, I suppose I'm just older and maybe wiser, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared to say that. Um, I feel, yeah, I, I, I think I'm going forward in my life in, in a good way, you know, and long may it continue. I, I don't think you ever stop growing or developing as a person. I hope I don't, you know. Great. I still and feel really... Uh, I've got a lot to learn, you know. Oh, great. Listen, it's really, really good to see you. You have to stay with us. We'll talk to you okay. lots more. Good to see you. Great, Thanks. thank you. They do say that uh, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. I have my doubts. Uh, but since this is Orika's uh, last day, we thought we'd remind her of the day she was flattered on the Bobby Davro show. I know it's very strange because they're so sort of liberal sexually there. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's quite a contradiction, really. Mm. Have you had any anything else like that happening to you? Records banned or, or people objecting to, to what you do in videos or what you do on stage? Um, uh, well, it's the first banning, I think, mm. I think that I remember. But, Did um, it actually do any good in the end? Because sometimes when they ban things, it means that uh, people actually want to see it. Right, well, I mean, I, I think it, a little bit of that happened. I mean, people kind of talked about it in interviews and were quite impressed. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I just thought it was hilarious, you know. Right. I was going to ask Gamble, what do, what do you think about the transformation? Because we were talking about earlier, about how Siobhan has sort of developed. Well, I think it's wonderful, because uh, it's an example of how to survive being part of what is basically a teen group to become part of an adult act, which therefore has staying power, longer mm -hmm. career, and uh, making very varied records with Montella. So it's very yeah, good. Yeah, it's good. Thanks. What is it that you would like to do? I mean, what do you say? Do you, do you want to sort of stay with what you're doing at the moment for a while? I mean, obviously you've got a lot more ideas and things still mm. to come. Well, um, I'm, there's all sorts of things that I'd like to do in my life, and, and I suppose um, I don't have any sort of great plans. I, I don't really regard what I do as a career. I, I just need to do something that's stimulating and interesting all the yeah. time. And um, I think I'd go out of my mind if I wasn't, you know, working in some capacity. Because right. uh, so it would have been very easy for you to sort of, you know, give up, marry to Dave Stewart, has got a few bob, you know, sit back in the house in the south of France and think this is great. And not do anything live Sunday. I mean, you know, I think I'd drive, <laughs> would you go mad? <laughs> I, I think I'd drive myself and him bonkers. So <laughs> it's just as well I'm working. Sure, well, it's great to see you. We're really pleased that you came in to see us. Good luck with the new single. I'm Thanks. sure it's going to be huge, as they say. Oh, well. And all the best for the future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Gamble. I love Ulrika. <laughs> oh, oh, I know it's a shame. Isn't it? A bit late to tell us that, Gamble. Yeah. Well, had to end up.